Oh my god. Dude, did you see his right hand? Holy balls. <laughs> Dude, he's literally like accelerating, then the blipping, braking, rev bombing, waving, back on gas, blipping. <laughs> his hand was just... We've seen what happens when people run red lights in the previous video. That was a fun little video with Belly Boy. You don't want to be a Belly Boy. You want to be a boy who's still on his bike and not spread out on the road like an egg. Well, how do I know it's going to this farm? What's the name of this farm? Cheshire Farm. The Cheshire Farm? The Chestnut Farm. No, you're not making any sense. What is, what's the name of this farm? Chester's Farm. Ch Dude. <laughs> So back when I was a little motorcycle hatchling, scared of literally anything and everything on the road, I made a point to try to find ways to progress further in my riding, even when I wasn't on the bike. One of the best ways to do this, I thought, was watching motorcycle videos. Lots of motorcycle videos. I'm talking close calls, carriage, crashes, backflip. There was a motorcycle in the video, I was, I was watching it. And honestly, I really do think like for newer riders, it's a really good idea to do stuff like that. All the dudes that I saw get blasted by cars on YouTube, like I feel like I lived a thousand lives. And because of this, I feel so much better like predicting car movements and like, is this guy gonna hop on in front of me? Is this a good idea to do? Should I be moving this way? Because I've seen so many people go down on YouTube. Yeah, I can 100% say that it has helped me a lot in my riding. And if you guys are newer riders, the best thing I recommend is watching a lot of motorcycle compilation videos and crash videos because you'll really pick stuff up if you do that. Yeah, around during this time, like right after I finished my MSF course, I was consuming so much motorcycle content. And like the hungry little hippo I was, YouTube kept me very well fed on motorcycle shenanigans. The channel it fed me most was... To no surprise, Moto Madness. A regular, a classic on this channel. Another channel that tried to feed me was Dirt Bike Lunatic. Now I know it's gonna be hypocritical what I say, especially me because I talk over the clips all the time and try to make little funnies here and there. But that's the reason why I didn't like Dirt Bike Lunatic initially. He would talk over clips and I was a compilation purist. The compilation had to be, had to be pure. It had to be like that blue meth from Breaking Bad, no contaminants. Pure, unedited clips. That's all I wanted. That being said, it has been a minute since I've last watched a proper Dirt Bike Lunatic video. And I feel it's only right that we give it another shot. Especially after reacting to that last video made by Moto Stars, I got a comment that literally said Dirt Bike Lunatic is better. And I listened to my audience. I I am, I am your little puppet. And make me dance, you have, because today we're going to be watching Dirt Bike Lunatic. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going off-road for the first video. I haven't seen a lot of off-road content. Oh no, he almost died, but he didn't. Oh wow, okay. This is the whole mess now. <laughs> I've never really been off-roading before, but it looks fun. I don't know how hurt you could get, really, from, like, falling in the dirt. Because every time I see, like, dirt bike fails in the woods, I'm always like, ah, oh, okay, he's probably fine. You know, I don't know, because you got, like, branches, you got, like, rocks, so, like, maybe it's pretty bad. I don't know. Maybe it's a lot more dangerous than I'm thinking it is. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> he lost traction, like, three times. <laughs> Ah, oh, there he is! Mr. Rurock himself. God, those helmets are sexy. I've heard so many mixed things about Rurock. I've heard that they're great helmets. I've heard that they're horrible, dangerous helmets. I mean, the one thing that's consistent that everyone seems to have an understanding on is that they are sexy helmets. But yeah, Rurock, if you ever want to put another mask on this mask boy, hit me up. It almost went down because of the breeze on the road. This is why we feature a lot of videos where bikers clean them. Ah, oh, that's what it was. That little patch. Yeah, what do you say? Like, clean the roads? Okay, see, I can get behind this. You know, Mr. Beast, like, cleans the oceans. Mr. Lunatic here wants to clean the streets. That's good. He's actually a very good guy. I, it would be wrong to actually not like him. <laughs> He's actually a good dude. Clean the roads, kids. Clean the roads. Pick up your filth. You disgust me. Yeah, wasn't your tire. It was, well, it was your tire hitting the thing that caused the problem, so, yeah. Oh, we've seen this. Slip. Yes, the money did slap him in the face, Mr. Lunatic. I wonder how much overlap we're gonna get from these channels, because there's only so much content that goes around, you know, so all these guys are gonna kind of, like, dip their fingies in the motorcycle clip pot, so to speak. So, I mean, we might see some overlap. I don't care. That was always a tasty clip. Getting free money is always an awesome thing. Oh, dude, look at this dude's posture, dude. Yeah, that's kind of sketch. Oh, there was a child! <laughs> infant? infant, I mean. Give a baby girl based on the color of the hat. Oh, how dare you possibly misgender that child. It's just so weird seeing a guy ride in this position because I'm so used to watching clips of street bike riders. This is just such a noble, majestic, just chest out kind of way to ride a bike. And I'm just like, just like tucked in like this at all times. Like a little turtle on my little sport bike. One of these days I'll get an adventure bike because they look so much fun. Scary stuff. What's going to happen? Oh, yeah. Kind of common. 
It happens. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, this kind of stuff happens pretty often. And I know some people are going to say, oh, but well, maybe that happens a lot to you because you write irresponsibly. Not all the time, but a lot of times, like let's say the speed limit's like 45 or 50. The problem is that you have so much acceleration on a bike that you can just get to that speed, like the 45, 50, but you can get there so fast. So it's like you're not necessarily speeding. You're just getting to the speed limit a lot quicker than a car would be able to. And because of that, you get situations like this where you're already there and then they think they have so much time where, granted, if you were driving a car, like if this guy was driving a normal car, he probably wouldn't have caught up to her, I guess, that quick. So yeah, that's just a motorcycle problem. Just realize that you can move a lot faster than 90% of the cars on the road. So you just gotta, just be a little careful. I'm not saying don't do this. I'm just saying, just be a little careful. This guy's really hugging that line, huh? You gonna try to pass him? Weird. What is this guy doing? Oh, he's on his phone? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. He wasn't the worst driver that I've seen. Some of these people, they literally just start swerving back and forth. And don't be on your phone when you're driving. I'm just saying, like, it's not a good idea. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. At least he was maintaining his lane, you know? Alright, what's gonna happen here? Get into the blind spot. Get out of the blind spot. Yep, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Wow, how did I guess that? And they didn't put their blinker on too. That's always a fun thing where people just don't put on their blinkers for whatever reason. But yeah, blind spots. People are supposed to check them. They rarely check them. So just get out of there, okay? It's always better to just be in front of the dude or just behind the dude. You don't want to be right next to them. So yeah, the minute I saw him coming up, like creeping up on that blind spot, I'm like, okay, just give it some gas and get out of there, you know? So don't stay in those people's spots like that because they will not check and they will kill you. Talk to me, dirt bike. Biker tried to lane filter when, in the same time, car went forward, resulting in a crash. That's weird. That's a very weird situation to be a part of. <laughs> See, I don't live in a state where like filtering or splitting is legal. I know a lot of people who like live in states where you can lane split and filter. They say it's like the best thing ever. And while I do agree with a lot of their points, I also do think that a lot of this kind of stuff would also happen. Just really dumb, weird situations where he's just stopped and he knows that no one's in front of him so he just kind of gives it a little gas just to move up a little bit but at the same time you come up creeping and you go in front of him it's just a lot of weird awkward stuff even if he wasn't on his phone he just might be distracted and just be like okay well i can move up a little bit because i'm probably good but you're there all of a sudden so i don't know yeah, i don't know whose fault this is really the motorcycle moved in front but the guy hit him he didn't see him he says he didn't see him. Idiot, man. Look at that, you. The awkward silence. I'll raise the volume up a little bit. It might be a little bit too low for you guys. This is the problem when you don't have back and forth, when you don't have two angry people and you have just one guy. It leads to some funny little awkward silences. Why would he call the police on himself? You gotta call the police. Get out under the bike and call the police. <laughs> that guy's not gonna call. I've dropped my bike, but I've never been pinned. Well, not the R6. I've never dropped the R6, but my SV, I dropped. I wonder how bad it is to get that full weight of the bike on your ankle. It's got to hurt. <laughs> Guy's just so confused. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, did you see his right hand? Holy balls. <laughs> Dude, he's literally, like, accelerating, then the blipping, braking, rev bombing, waving. <laughs> Back on gas, flipping. <laughs> His hand was just... You see, that's, I mean, that's how you know that, like, you're comfortable on your bike. The fact that your, your right hand's literally ready for anything and everything on the road. Yeah, this dude's fast. That's crazy. You see, again, it's like he wasn't even speeding, I think. But it's just he got to speed so fast. And then those cars on the right were stopping. Then that person had to swerve to dodge. And then he had to swerve to dodge. You just got to be careful with how fast your bike is. Not, e not even speeding. Just how fast you can get. Two speed. It's fast, man. These bikes are fast. And this guy's got no gear on, so like if he crashed, that's it for his skin. Was that the lady? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, you're hot, so it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> oh, dude. Get out of there! Run, run! I don't know if you guys have ever had those moments where like you're driving one day and like one guy will almost hit you and then it's like, okay, fine, but I dodged it. And then like another situation will happen and then another thing. And then at that point, you're just like, maybe I should park for a little bit and just chill because like I feel like something bad's going to happen if I keep riding. I'm not a superstitious guy, but there's something stitious out there to get you. 
Yeah, I love that. Yeah, people who turn on their blinker as they turn. That's always a funny thing. Gives us a bad name. What's he going to do? What is this? What am I looking at? Oh, was he not supposed to go? Is there a light? I don't see a light. Oh, there is a light. Oh, wow. What an idiot. We've seen what happens when people run red lights in the previous video. That was a fun little video with Belly Boy. You don't want to be a Belly Boy. You want to be a boy who's still on his bike and not spread out on the road like an egg. Oh, and he's got the unicorn set up, too. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> You don't see this a lot, like motorcycle and motorcycle, because we all share like that bond, you know, like, there's like an unspoken rule where like we're all, we're all brothers. But actually, hold on, that guy was a scooter, right? Okay, see, never mind, the rule doesn't apply, forget I said anything. This is not a motorcycle boy, this is a scooter boy. It's a different thing, even though he's on two wheels, it's different. Yeah, shut up. Get out of here, you unicorn. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, that's just sad. Oh, and his leg. Again, I've never been pinned under a bike that I've dropped. But that's got to suck. You're just a helpless little baby at that point. Oh! Dude, wait. Did he just fall off his bike? Oh, no, wait. That was... Just... Hold up. I'm sorry. I'm rewinding it so much. Oh, that was his camera. That was his camera. Okay, thank God. I was going to say, I've never seen anything like that where a dude just, like, slides off his bike and just, like, I've never seen that. Again, dude, these poor GoPros, man. They're just doing their jobs. This bike has followed a car in front, which was behaving very strange. Swearing all over the road and getting... That's quite strange. Cars. What do you think, guys? Was this driver on Sunday hmm. or just careless driver? Let's investigate, Mr. Dirt Bike. I'll get back to you on that. Call 999. 999, dude, I'd be calling 911. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, I'll be on a drunk driver. <laughs> The curb, almost a car. Another car almost hit. That's like three cars almost hit. He's driving on the completely wrong side. Four cars almost hit. Five cars almost hit. Or six. Dude. Yeah, this guy is just drunk as balls. <laughs> like... He's on a different plane of existence right now. He's in the quantum realm. Yeah, this is sketch. I don't know what I'd be doing in this situation. Like, if I'm talking to 911, I don't want to just commentate what's happening like a UFC announcer, you know, just waiting for someone to get blasted, you know? I mean, maybe I would rev bomb or, like, get up close behind him and just... Like, just, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe do something like that. Just try to get their attention a little bit. I definitely wouldn't try to go in front of them or, like, go past them. Cause they're probably just gonna like swerve into you and like kill you. But yeah, it's a weird situation because like people's lives are on the line. Like at any moment, someone could just run into this guy or this guy can run into them and then they're just gone. And then you're gonna be like, oh, well, maybe there was something I should have done. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. What would you guys do in this situation? Would you guys just call 911 and just trail behind? Or would you like jump on the hood of the car and punch a hole through the top and then grab the steering wheel and make the guy peel out and stop the threat? Like, would you guys do something like that? I don't know. Oh, dude, are we getting a little drunk right now? Dude, like, it's getting hard to see. <laughs> it's just an intoxicated motorcyclist following an intoxicated driver. Is this way, officer? I've seen a few drivers like this in my time, but never, like, this bad. Like, usually these guys this bad will just crash, like, pretty quickly, you know? Oh, snap. We went into the quantum realm now. Hello, mate. No, this lady's drunk. Yeah, she was swerving all over the road. She ran people off the road. She could have killed someone quite easily, mate. Yeah. You'll take care of it, will ya? Are you her husband? What? Wait, what? So she just wobbled inside and her husband just happened to be outside waiting? She should have got a taxi. Weird. I'll handle her. Yeah, you'll do nothing, basically. <laughs> Oh, that's right. He called the cops. That's right. I forgot. Oh, yeah. So they are going to bust her either way. Okay. So justice will be served after all. That's a nice spot. He got confronted by a lady who accused him for a lot of bad things. Oh, no. A Karen encounter. These are always fun. My bike. Can I help you? What'd you say? This is private property. Oh no, we better say sorry and run. Private property. Sorry, 
I was just taking pictures of my bike. Isn't it beautiful though? What? <laughs> now she's accusing him of stealing apples? Lady, I'm not after the apples, I'm after the scenery. Been a lot of oh, really? Yeah, I'm not too happy about it. Why, do you own this farm or something? No, I'm just very... <laughs> We've been having a lot of problems. We being not me, because I don't live here. I don't even know why I'm here in the first place. But I do know that there's apple thieves out here, and they need to be killed. prestigious here. community well there's been a few people who have there was some guy and i don't know what he was doing with the cows but he, it was just disgusting wait what <laughs> wait what okay so now we've got from apple stealing to cow abusing the stakes are just rising and rising as the allegations keep mounting on this poor guy i don't know if this girl's serious or not especially the fact that she doesn't live here it's like why would you get so concerned about something like this i don't know and we found him in the cow barn And she's saying multiple, so there's multiple people, there's, there's a clan of people stealing apples and abusing cows that have infiltrated this prestigious community. With cows? The cows and yeah. What are you talking, I'm just, I'm just literally taking pictures of my bike, I just rode over here, I'm, I am not doing anything bad. Well, I, I think you need permission before you can just use other people's property. Uh, Fair enough, I'll leave. I didn't, I mean, I'm just right off the road. I already got my Do photo, I'll leave. Live here? I just, I just drive by every day just to check things out and make sure it's okay. What kind of person does that? A good Samaritan. Batman does that. Listen, lady, I'm just riding around. Like, I, I, I don't know why. Because you ride something like that, you look like a fool again. What's, what's what? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she's making fun of his bike now. But yeah, I guess she just pieced it together because you have a bike. You're probably a criminal, which means you're probably stealing apples, which means you're probably abusing cows. I don't know how she's piecing this all together. It's, it's literally a perfect bike. What, what's wrong with it? It's not even that loud. <laughs> you want me to start it up? No, no. That's degenerative behavior. Yeah, it's street legal. I have a license plate. You know what? I don't know. I think that guy that was in the barn was riding something like that. What? I can't believe this is me? happening. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a really, really odd coincidence. Listen, I've never been here before. Come here. What? Come closer. Come here, dude. Why? Because I wanted to see your face. I just, I need a I, hold on. Why are you <laughs> serious? Oh my god. I'm losing brain cells. So I'm saying it right now. She's either mentally challenged or she's joking. And this could just be like her trolling this guy, which I wouldn't say it's impossible at this point because especially with the cow like where did that even come from it's just so far left field i mean i don't know and i feel like she can only be one of those two things like she can't just be a normal concerned citizen it's just too much like it, this goes far beyond just normal concerned citizen in a sane state of mind i should also say like if you're ever caught in situations like this just try to find the fastest way out possible don't try to argue with these kinds of people. It'll just never go anywhere. I think I said it before. The minute she said, I think you should ask for permission. I'd be like, oh yeah, you're right. My bad. Because I already got the photo, right? Like, I'll just go. And if you didn't get the photo, just ride off. Wait for her to go somewhere else. And then just come back and take the photo. Like, I mean, you can play the situation a little bit, you know? I guess it makes good content. Maybe if you know you have like a GoPro on, maybe you can just kind of keep going along with it. Just to try to get content out of it. But yeah, I don't know. If you don't have a camera, you're not doing this for YouTube. I mean, just try to find the fastest way out. Because, yeah, this will just go on forever. Well, I think they should know who's hanging around here. Maybe they would... Who? Who? What are you talking about? Farmers. What farmers, bro? This is a farm. This, yeah, this is a farm. And who are you? Are you a farmer? It's a prestigious farm. It's, it's a, a prestigious farm. farm. Are farm? Who are you? Concerned citizen, why don't you move on with your day? I think I need to call the police. Why are you calling what? The you see, you see, we see what I said. Now the cops are gonna get involved. And even if you're completely in the right, now it's gonna be more time taken out of your day, dealing with this idiot. Just get out of this situation. You don't need to argue with people. Literally just agree with whatever crazy story they're saying and then just move on. I, I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to raise my tone, but like, geez, dude. That was pretty scary when you raised your voice. Get out of here? Yeah, I'll get out of here. Coming back here? Yeah, I can come back here. This is a road. That's why I need to call the cops. You shouldn't be hanging around here. Well, 
Well, I, I'm not hanging around. I'm just taking <laughs> pictures of the whole Degenerates on bikes should not be allowed in this prestigious community. I'm just stating the facts. What facts? But this is a prestigious community and we don't need... Dude, it's not very prestigious. Like, that wooden sign, It's I can barely see it. I was going to say, like, because of all these problems that are happening in this community, I don't think it's a very prestigious community, too. But, I mean, what do I know? I'm just a degenerate who rides a motorcycle. This barn is falling apart. Yeah, I'll donate. I'll donate to you. Like, I, I got plenty of cash to help your community out. Cough it up. Huh? Cough it up. Cough up the cash and I'll leave you alone. That's gotta be illegal, right? Like, I'm gonna harass you until you give me money? Isn't that illegal? I don't know. I don't know laws. Oh, uh, I dropped it. Was that a penny? Uh, <laughs> well, how do I know it's going to this farm? What's the name of this farm? Cheshire Farm. The Cheshire Farm? The Chestnut Farm. No, you're not making any sense. What? Is, what's the name of this farm? Chester's Farm. Ch Dude, I'm like borderline thinking now that she's trolling again. Like, what a weird situation. If she's actually being serious, I feel so sorry for her. Her brain is just fried. It's just gone. That's the farmer. That's the farmer? Yes. Is he the one doing things? Yeah, Chestnut Chester's Farm. I think it's funny that these cows are being violated. Her imagination. It's disgusting. Okay. I'm <laughs> I am a member of this prestigious community and I consider okay. to make a donation right there. Yeah, I'd say it's probably suggested to donate twenty dollars per photo. <laughs> so twenty bucks okay. Because, look, this beautiful landscape wasn't free. Freedom isn't free. It's, it's a free country, it's not a rent free country. I'm gonna live free or die. Sounds like you're going closer to dying, my friend. All right, whatever that means. I think I'm gonna get out of here now. Yeah, and I would recommend not coming back until you've made a donation. Okay. I don't see you and your whole little friends around here anymore. I don't have any friends around here. Yeah, I think you're friends with the cow guy. No, I'm not. Thanks, lady. I think you are. Why isn't it starting? What a nutcase. Yeah, Jeez, dude. dude. Why do I always run into people like that? I mean, and that's all for today. I've never run into anybody that so far gone before. What a weird random NPC encounter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I did. Like, I did. You know what? I did. I was wrong about you, Mr. Dirtbike Lunatic. I might just get myself a shirt from him. This guy's a philanthropist after all. He's trying to save the world. Clean the streets. Good clips, and I'm still recovering brain cells from what we just watched. And I said it before, I'll say it again. If you have anybody like that, that comes up to you just randomly out of nowhere and just trying to start something with you, literally the best way I've found to go about it is just agree with them. Be like, oh yeah, I screwed up. Just, just play their little game and just leave. And then if you have to take a photo or something, just come back and do it later. Having an argument with somebody that's not completely there is just gonna go nowhere and you're gonna be going in circles. But yeah, man, that lady was, that lady was crazy. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, buy my course. I'm just kidding, I don't have a course, I don't know why I said that. Bye-bye.